A former El Dorado County gymnastics coach has been arrested for alleged sexual abuse of a former student. In my opinion, they need to be locked up for life or worse. Deputies say there could be more victims in other states. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. Thank you for joining us. And I'm Adrienne Moore. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live in Sacramento for us tonight with much more on this developing and disturbing story. Jen. Sam and Adrian, I'm told those assaults may be across state and county lines here in Sacramento, where you could hear, hear the fireworks going off at Rayleigh Field. But I'm told this investigation may further go to, beyond to other victims, and they want to make sure that you see this picture and get it out there. El Dorado County Sheriff deputies are asking you to take a good look at the man suspected of sexually abusing a child for years. Investigators say a victim recently came forward and detectives fear there may be others. The alleged abuse happened over a five year period from 1999 to 2004 by her gymnastics coach, Keith Willett. Neighbors say deputies hauled the 54 year old out of his Cameron Park home Thursday. There's four of them and they were bringing stuff out of the house. They were especially shocked to hear why. You don't really know somebody until you find out the worst about them through the news. Willett is also a professional photographer. He was arrested and booked into the El Dorado County Jail facing sex assault charges. Detectives say he was a gymnastics instructor at several gyms from El Dorado County to Sacramento and also in Ohio, Minnesota, and Washington. Because Willett was around so many children for years, detectives are looking into the possibility there may be more victims and are asking them to come forward. And Willett is being held on a $100,000 bond. If you have any information, contact the El Dorado Sheriff's Office. Let's hope they can get to the bottom of this. All right, Jen, thanks so much for that live report.